Welcome to H3C Server Management HDML DAP Configuration Demo Video. This video shows how to configure the LDAP server and how to configure LDAP on HDM. This video includes three parts. Introduction to LDAP. Configuring LDAP. And verifying the LDAP configuration. Introduction to LDAP. Lightweight Directory Access Protocol or LDAP is an application protocol for accessing and maintaining online directories in a directory database. Compatible with inter-platform internet protocols. LDAP can be used to implement mutual authentication between HDM and the server and unified user authentication management. LDAP Concepts Before configuring the LDAP server. Let's see LDAP concepts. An LDAP entry is a record on the LDAP server. Each entry has a global unique distinguished name or DN. A DN includes a common name or CN, organization unit or OU, and domain name or DN to help identify the absolute path of an LDAP entry in the directory. An attribute in an LDAP entry describes information of the object that the entry represents. For example, we owe you information. Common LDAP concepts. DN, distinguished name. Each entry has a unique DN. OU, organization unit, which is a container object. DC, domain component. For example, the DC for domain name example.com is DC equals example DC equals com. CN, common name. For example, user1, UID, user ID. For example, LDAP user1. HDM supports both Windows Active Directory or AD and Linux Open LDAP. This video uses Windows Server 2019 as an example to describe Active Directory configuration. Set up an LDAP server. This part includes how to install a DNS server. Install and configure Active Directory domain services. And install and configure Active Directory certificate services. Access the operating system of the server. Open Server Manager. And select Local Server. Click Manage in the upper right corner and select Add Roles and Features. Select Role-based or Feature-based installation. Select Select a server from the server pool. And then select the current server as the destination server. Select DNS server as the server role. Select Net Framework 4.7 Features. Check the things to note. Click Install. Click Manage in the upper right corner and select Add Roles and Features. Select Role-based or Feature-based installation. Select Select a server from the server pool. And then select the current server as the destination server. Select Active Directory Domain Services. Click Next directly. Check the things to note. Click Install. After the installation finishes, 
Select ADDS from the left navigation pane and view the ADDS attributes. Click more in the right corner of the alarm message in the dialog box that opens. Click promote this server to a domain controller in the action column. Select add a new forest. Enter an active directory domain name in the root domain name field. For example, HTML DAP. Enter the password for the domain controller. Verify the NetBIOS domain name and Active Directory paths. You can use the default settings or change the paths as needed. Verify the LDAP server option configuration. Click Install. The operating system automatically restarts after the installation is complete. Access the operating system. Open Server Manager. And then select Local Server. Click Manage in the upper right corner and select Add Roles and Features. Select Role Based or Feature Based Installation. Select select a server from the server pool, and then select the current server as the destination server. Select Active Directory Certificate Services. Click Next directly. Check the things to note. Select Role Services. Check the things to note. Verify the role service configuration. Click install. After the installation finishes, select ADCS from the left navigation pane and view the ADCS attributes. Click more in the right corner of the alarm message in the dialog box that opens. Click Configure Active Directory Certificate Services on the server in the Action column. In the dialog box that opens, click Next. Select Role Services to configure. Select Enterprise CA. Select Root CA. Select Create a new private key. Select RSA as the cryptographic provider, 2048 as the key length, and SHA-1 as the hash algorithm. Specify the common name of the CA. You can use the default common name. Set the validity period of the CA. The default is 5 years. Specify the locations of the certificate database. Click Configure. After the configuration is complete, restart the operating system to make the configuration take effect. Configure the LDAP server. This part shows how to create an organization unit, a role group, and a user. Access the operating system, open server manager, and select local server. Click the tasks button in the upper right corner, 
and then select Active Directory Users and Computers. Right-click HTMLDAP.com and select New Organizational Unit. Enter an organizational unit name. For example, Company. Click OK. To create a second level organizational unit for the first level organizational unit, right-click Company and select New Organizational Unit. Enter an organizational unit name. For example, Product. Click OK. To create a role group, right-click an organizational unit and select New Group. Enter a group name, for example, Group 1. Select the group scope and group type. This example uses the default settings. Click OK. To create a user, right-click an organizational unit and select New User. Set the username and user logon names. For example, user1. Click next and set the password. Cancel the user must change password at next logon option. Click next. To add a user to a user group, right-click the target user, for example, user1, and click Add to a group. Enter a group name. This example uses group1. Check the group name. After the check passes, click OK. The LDAP information of user, user1 is as follows. User group group 1 cn cn equals user 1 ou ou equals product ou equals company dc dc equals html dap dc equals com you can repeat the above steps to create more organization units role groups and users Configure LDAP settings on HDM. This part shows how to configure the LDAP server parameters and add a role group. Log into HDM and access the domain users page. Click settings. In the dialog box that opens. Configure the LDAP server parameters. Select enable. Select no encryption as the encryption type. Select IP as the common name type. Enter the IP address of the LDAP server. Use the default port number. Enter the DN information of the LDAP user that is bound to the LDAP server and HDM. This example uses user1. The DN information includes the CN, OU in ascending order of levels, and DC of the user. Enter the password of the user. Enter the DN information of the user search base. You can enter only the domain name of the search base. Select CN as the user identification method. Click OK. To add a role group, select Add Role Groups. Enter the role group to add. This example uses group group 1. Enter the DN information of the role group search base. You can enter only the domain name of the search base. Select a group privilege for the role group. For example, administrator. Click OK. Verify the LDAP settings. This part shows how to use an LDAP user to log into HDM and verify the user privileges. Log out from HDM. On the login page, enter the username and password of a user in the group added to HDM. 
This example uses user 1 in group 1. After login, access the domain user page to view the LDAP configuration. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.